Hey bada boop, it's Music Lover, and I'm in the mood for making some videos, and I'm going to be doing a lot of them tonight, but maybe upload tomorrow or later tonight. Um, I don't know why I'm in the mood for this. Um, honestly, I made a depressing video yesterday, I know it, um, but, um, yeah. Let me check something here. Did I get... Let me get volume status. Anyways, I'm going to be doing some shoutouts and some rambling stuff. But to start off, we're going to be doing a rant. Uh, another rant. And it's a video that uh, Chad Gamer the First, one of my active subscribers, created. I know I did a rant on his uh, comments I hate, and I'm going to probably do a video soon on the types of comments I hate, because there are comments I do hate. But I am... I uh, continue on, on with YouTube, but I might slow down the pace of videos. I don't even know anymore. I'm not quitting YouTube just yet, guys, but I might um, stop around September due to the fact that I have schoolwork and other things. More of that in a later vlog. Anyways, let's get to the video and let's rant about the rant that's supposed to be a rant, which we can rant about. Rant, rant, rant. Play button. Enter. Oh, why? Oh, I literally have to make another video on this because I was transferred. I was trying. I was up just uploading this, but then I, I just was. But then I deleted the video like on my storage because I thought, well, I was still, it was still being. But the problem was it was still being transferred to YouTube, so. I do. So I deleted all my storage to save some space for more videos. And okay, okay, let me pause that. Can you, and, and just as a question is, can you really do that? Because what I've done is just wait until the video is done uploading, then go to my storage, delete it, and then maybe make another one or upload more and then delete as I go along. Just saying. I don't know if that, that method works better or um, I'm like, does that really method work? Who knows? Let's continue. Um, just a sec. I had another thought, but what was it? Oh yeah, I go to my, um, photos, and I mostly delete the stories from there, but let's go. Enter. When I did that, you know, to transfer, to transfer, like, to this video to YouTube, um, failed. Or, like, to that video, it failed. It failed. Because, well, okay, no, I, don't, I don't know. Now I need to do redo this rant. Um, video. Yeah, so basically. Yeah, great. Need to redo this again. Uh, it's maybe I'll say this more clearer on my, my hate around the show. Yeah, also there's a lot of okay. Um, so basically, the premise of this show is that um, it's like it's like based. It's like a show that's like, um, supposed to be like, based off of Mary, the mother, mother of Jesus, and like, where these characters, like, go through, um, like, events, like, where in each episode, like, a different character goes through, like, some event, like, suffering, or at least some sort of suffering, and then, like, Mary, and uh, like, in the end, Mary just, like, fixes everything, or mm. something weird yeah. type of show just saying and that's the basic premise but i'm just gonna describe how i'm not and, trying you know, to make how judge terribly they execute this to the point where it's offensive and just cringy an overall cringy show to just watch enter okay from that description that sounded terribly cringy like okay isn't god supposed to fix our problems i mean yeah it's like we all know god's mother was named uh, mary but like god I'm a Christian, I believe, you know, I believe that God provides for us, he takes care of us, and, like, God fixes everything in the end, and it's just a cringe-worthy show, I mean, why, why would I even, I don't think why people would watch a show like that, anyways, let's, let's continue, I don't want to make, I'm a Christian and I do love to spread my faith around here, but this is not the time for me to talk about that. 
right now, but I will talk more in later videos about that. My faith, that is. Let's continue. Enter. And I'm just absolutely terrible. And how, like, offensive and how, like, stereotypical it is. You know, and if you know stereotypes, um, with, like, you know, like, with stuff that are, like, stereotypically dangerous or, like, stuff, stuff like that. Any stereotypes. Do they even put warnings on these shows? You know, people like? or stuff like that. This show has that, you know. Like, pure depression. If you know any of them, you'll understand. Wise understand why this show is crap, you know. I can get it. Basically, um, I'm just going to explain why, like, how they use Mary in this, like, why it's offensive. You know, basically, Mary is not, like, in, I mean, first I'll say that the episode is, like, it's, like, 45 minutes, it's one of those 45 minutes long episodes that they each have, um, and but so basically, basically Mary is not like really she's hardly ever in the episode actual episode she only comes she only is like like uh well like they talk about they only they only like mention her like in the middle like and then in the like very end okay okay you know, like just two that doesn't make sense so if the show has her as the main theme Shouldn't she be like the star or like you know the centerpiece? Oh, this video is already cringeworthy. It's not. It's not him. It's just the topic. I mean, it's not cringeworthy of me to talk about this, but like seriously, it's the show. Like why? Let's continue. And her, she just she's only like um there. They only mention her like for like two scenes of each episode. Wow. And only. And in the middle. In the middle of this episode is where a side character will like, or some character will like pray for Mary to fix, to help fix things bad, to make things better. And in the end of the um, episodes where Mary just like magically fixes everything, everything is alright, you know, That's whatever, whatever, and the whole, the rest of the Enter. Whole. And again, I'm gonna say it, that is cringy. Do I need to say it again? That is like terribly wrong, man. I'm just saying, for that, for those people who created this show, where can I rate it so I can basically roast the butt out of them? I will roast them if I have to. Let's continue. And the whole episode is just, you know, stupid, just stupid, like, bit pitchy character, you know, like, suffering in, like, cringe, in, like, just a cringy way, you know, not executed properly, you know. Every other and every other character in the show is like stupid and is a bitch. No. Like no. And um and they contain stereotypes like a woman like a woman being weak, like can't defend herself or something, that's why she's suffering or some bullshit like that. Whatever they have like a female protagonist or some even even side characters rather even side characters are females for that matter. And like teen, teen, like guys or teenage guys or whatever age they are, um, they have them. They have them be as like the dangerous, like kind, of, like potentially dangerous ones or something like that, or some stereotype like that. And they also have, uh, and at, when any time they have like a guy be the protagonist, they usually make them like a stupid bitch or something like as bitchy as the, kind of like the female females as they do to the females of this show you know just to try to guess they want to make the, or the male protagonist relatable whatever uh, whatever to females as well as whatever you know, whatever bullshit stereotype they just believe in you know sexist stereotypes Enter. okay so are they trying to like be racist or something like seriously like this show does not seem appropriate do they even have warnings on like the episodes like you know what i mean i wonder what other people have said about this if any of you guys have heard of this show besides um chat gamer if any of you guys have heard of this or if anyone's watching and don't even try looking this up this sounds terrible i wouldn't recommend it but if anyone else has seen the show and you want to put your opinion on it leave it in the comments below let's continue enter and the and the male protagonist character like just does something like very stupid, like dangerously, dangerously, and just, you know suffers from it. You know, 
Yep. The, the male protagonists are also dangerous. Like they just do something stupidly dangerous, and then they cry about it or some something like that. And they um, and the mothers in the, in the show are just like you know the stereotypical like mothers that know everything and know the solution to the problem or whatever. They shit like that. And the fathers are just either like whatever, but you know they're. Either they're like abusive fathers, or they're like the fathers that are only abusive when they get like even slightly mad at the children or at their children or whatever. You know, there's some stereotypical things like that. You know, every, every time. You know, and um, and most of the most of the episodes you just see these char- these characters like make stupid like bitchy decisions that you know they have to suffer through them. But not like suffering that like, you could really take it seriously, you know, through the bad acting, you know, the horrible acting, and like how. And for- this sounds like a poor show put together by people who don't even know TV work. It sounds like a show that if someone were to rant about it, like what he's doing, it sounds like every everything would go wrong. It's how much work you put into something that you get out. You know, even the Bible says you reap what you sow. Whatever hard work you put into it, it's what the reward you get out of. You know what I mean? Let's continue. Enter. It's like pace and how it's like process, you know, with like, also with like cliche, like just cliche, like music, like to uh, make, make the scene more dramatic or whatever. I don't know, try and make it like too dramatic. Over, overly dramatic, you know, it's just cringy to watch, and, um, so yeah, that's like most of the episode, it's like most of the, that's 90% of the episode, you know, and, um, I think, I, I, I can't remember if I explained how, you know, Mary in this like, show is, um, used as a plot device. She's literally used as just a plot device. She's not. She's not there for anything else. She's just used there as a plot device. Yeah. You know, one thing they could have made it better. They could. Have, they could have actually like explained like the character's development, like why they worship Mary or like the character's relationship to Mary. That's like good character development, even though she's not. Even though she can't directly talk to the characters, you know, still. They still need to be like some sort. They can still be some sort of like, you know, like the relationship the characters have with Mary. That's like, you know, why they worship her, why they respect her, why they believe in her. But no, we don't get any of that. We just have Mary there as a simple plot device. So she's just basically there for like a side character to pray, and then at the end of it, their whole suffering is just gone, just over. Enter. This sounds like a whole nother religion. Just saying, and it just sounds. This show just sounds like. Something that atheists, or not even atheists, but like, um, I get the whole Hail Mary prayer, but like, seriously, seriously, why would they create a show like that? Who would want to watch a show like that? And also, like, the cliched work was like, seriously, man. I mean, honestly, this just does not seem right for TV producers and other people to make. Like, the reviews on the show must be terrible. Most of them, I mean. Eight night bleep. Let's continue. Enter. You know, so we're like, everyone's happy and like, oh, they worship Mary, like, la la la. I don't know why they symbolize Mary as like God, as like God in this, like, show like like what about God or Jesus like why why aren't they like mentioned here as well like Mary ain't the only like symbolism of God or Jesus like, Mary's not the only only person like in the Bible what about God or Jesus why, why aren't you know they're also involved in like religion and Christianity as well um, I don't know but they're not, they're not bad Paul mentioned, you know, Mary just this, Mary seems to be like this one god or entity that can do anything, you know, whatever, 
Mm-hmm. Um, also, and Mary's just, you, Mary's just like, he was there. She's in the title of the, like, um, show. She's just literally, it's literally just the title of the show just to get more Christians, like, to be like, to be like, hey, no, look at the show. It's about Mary. Good. So it's a great, so it's a great show. You should watch it. But no, no, it's, it's not at all. It's not. It's just offensive to Christians in general. No. And. And all you know that saying, uh, don't judge something by its title. What I'd say is, okay, look at, go look. If you find something like a TV show or a movie or even a song, go look it up. Go check some what other people have been saying about it if it's popular enough maybe watch it but I'd say this is being offensive to Christians too because I'm I believe in God I believe in Jesus but I don't pray to Mary I pray to Jesus because you know his blood took away all my sins on the cross I believe that I gave him my heart on the 12th of April back in 2012 or 2013 I'm sorry 2013 and, and, like, seriously, why would they make a show praising Mary? Yes, she was the mother of God, but she wasn't God. And even, I bet, even if she were on this earth and watching this, what they were making of her, she would be very terrified at those people who were, miss, who were doing this show. I bet she would have disliked it so much. So this is technically offensive to Christians and Catholics. Let's continue. And for, like, to, it's offensive to Mary, you know, how they're just using her to get money or views or something like that. And, um, anyway. Another thing that takes me off is the voice, is the voice acting. You know, and how badly it is. Like, they just... It's like they just get any random person, like they can get like. They should get a Kemi to do voice actor. acting. He'd be good. Get any random person to get, and an example of like how bad this show can get with acting is this like one. There's like this one uh, scene or like this one episode where the antagonist is like a little girl, and the and she is like uh, making fun or like. And the protagonist is like a little, like a smaller, little, smaller girl, and the antagonist is like being, is trying to make um, small, a smaller girl like have uh, more, like more worse thoughts about like, trying to make her situation with her like, um, the, like, like the protagonist is dealing with like her parents like being divorced or something like that. The antagonist, the little girl antagonist, is trying to make it worse for her um, by making by making things up for like in her head, trying to make things up in her head, like telling her about her parents don't that her parents don't love her or whatever or whatever, something like that, some stuff like that. And the way you you cannot guess how bad of a voice actor this antagonist was. Pictures. So even in the comments below, if you want to guess before like saying this, but I'm pretty sure you could not you could not guess how bad of an actor she was, and how much these directors do not care. They do not give a shit. Oh, she was but literally, right? There was a board off screen Ms. that had the enter. She was probably like this. Ooh. I meant to say, I meant to have a little fart come out there, but that was shitty. Okay, whatever. Antagonist, the little girl actor, antagonist lines. There was a board where they literally made her just, she couldn't remember her lines, you know, so they literally made, they had a board for her to read off screen. There was an off screen board, and they had her literally reading it. I just, just pace, just reading it. Not like, not like emotion. She not just, She has no, she like just re- read it. She just like, read like 
the like redder lines as as the screen as the um, as they were filming. She just read she just read those lines, and she was constantly just look looking up. Like do you see the board of her lyric, of not her lyrics, but her lines of what she was supposed to say, and she was giving out no emotion. She just gave out a bored expression the whole time. Like no, like no, like anger, like uh, no emotion. She was just there, like oh, I don't know, how just plain expression, no emotion, trying. Yeah. And it's kind of like with singing, you know, um, in choir, you're supposed to have emotion when you sing, like in some of those choir videos, I have a playlist on my channel called Choral Music, if you go back, I have several versions of the same song, compare them, and like, you'll, you'll find out that some versions do not have much expression, some do, and singing is all about feelings and telling your feelings another way of it as with acting I don't I don't do much acting but I like I kind of am into theater and I might take more of it maybe who knows but but like seriously I can see where they um where they might have some problems if anything they should have probably got a Kemi to do some voice acting <laughs> I know he's done some on uh, Final Fantasy episodes anyways let's continue enter the show expects you to believe that this antagonist is supposed to like it's supposed to be like, you know, giving this uh, little girl a hard time, but no, but no, she's just terrible at voice acting. She was just so terrible at voice acting. They could have had a better voice actor to do the ad, the little girl antagonist role, but no, they just went with it. They just have her read a board as they're filming. It's just how terrible this this show is. You know, sure, it's, it's terrible overall with stereotypes and sexism and like offensive to marry or whatever. And so that's basically my thoughts in this video. So uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, I don't know how else to turn this video. To yeah, don't watch the show ever. Right. Anyway, uh, Felty Frank out. Visit, 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 link, what, link, what, visit next for to replay. All right. All <laughs> four. Frank. I don't feel you should just use that and then do a really good, never mind, impression. <laughs> Anyways, you can probably hear the ice cream truck outside my window right now. I'd rather eat ice cream and watch YouTube than watch that show. Anyways, if you want me to react to your video, you can just either leave a link to it or tell me what video you want me to. I will react to more videos and we'll, we'll talk about them. That's another idea I have for my channel anyways. I don't know how it will work, but I bet it will. Music lovers signing off, but always remind you that at times it's okay to be random. Speech on. Stop. Stop recording. Button. Stop recording. Stop recording. Stop recording. Camera chooser. Back facing. Button. Camera chooser. Back facing.